All right, guys. We are going to be working on that CBA 32 squirrel rifle barrel. When we finally got the bore fully clean. Sorry about all the shaking. I'm holding my camera. I can't seem to find my tripod right now. But uh, as you can see, it, it, it looks like it's pretty rusty. But if you look closely, it's... It's mostly just gunk and light rust. So uh, I'll turn the camera around and let you get you a closer shot of what it looks like. And then uh, we'll go to scrubbing and cleaning this barrel. As you can see, I got it laying here on my desk. Uh, it's just a light, let me try, see if I can hold this steadier. It's just a light coating of rust. I don't know if whoever uh, built this gun, if it is even a kit gun. Uh, you can see where the sight was sitting. That's where the rear sight would be. Where the bluing is still good, uh, but it has just a light coat along the barrel. Um, I'll flip it over to where you can see the bottom side, which that is the bottom side where the stock would be hiding it. So you can see it's just a very light coating. Uh, I think. That I might be able to just use uh, steel wool or a scotch bright and get this thing cleaned up. So let's go do that. Let's take a little break. If you like the content, why don't you consider clicking the subscription button. It's right there. Bell notification beside it. Click that. Then click all. That'll let you know when I post a new video. Leave a comment. And as always, give me a thumbs up and not the finger. Okay, as you can see, we did get a, the bluing down at, off of it. We are down to bare metal. Uh, it does need some more work, but I'm going to do this with sandpaper. Uh, the pitting, which is right around where the breech plug is, is from black powder. Uh, I'm going to use sandpaper and. Uh, a fine sandpaper and get in there get that all cleaned up around the around the, the barrel uh, I still need to clean this end of it uh, I'm not going to worry about this end of the breech plug because that is uh, is hidden but uh, as you can see 
we got it pretty well there. I mean, there's a few spots, like I said, I'm trying to work around the, the tripod. But we did get it pretty well taken care of. So, uh, there is an area right here. You can see that it's been someone must have banged it against something because it peened over there, there was one here but I filed that off and uh, that's the only spot that has it so I'm going to be filing that to where it's smooth and then uh, clean this all up you can still see some of the just barely see some of the scratches that whenever somebody was Attempting to remove the front sight, they scratched the barrel, so I'm going to work that. The new sight comes back to about here where my thumbnail is, and it will cover a lot of that, but I, I want to make sure that it is, it is clean. Uh, there's a spot there that was underneath the rod that attaches to the barrel for the thimbles and uh, I might need to clean around the tang that holds the wedge for to hold it in the stock but and then yeah, as you've seen getting that out of the way the, this is the part of the breech of where the barrel locks into in the gun i'm going to clean that up uh really only part that really is bad is the top uh, the rest of it is still nice and uh, smooth so I'll, I'll just clean it up i had to use soap on it because it had some you know look like you know crud it's slimy so i cleaned all that off i'll be wiping this all down with acetone just prior to bluing so get all the oils off just so it takes better okay here i have some uh, 220 uh, fine grit and uh, let's fold it up into a small enough little workable uh, package and i'm just gonna sit here and Lightly sand in the direction of the barrel. You know, one across it, and we're going to section of the barrel. And just work the areas where it's rough. I'm at the end of the, where the, uh, where the barrel is, the touch hole. You want to call it that? I can't remember what they call that thing. But I am just going to work all this area down and then I'll bring you back and show you what where we're at. All right, we are done. She is as good as I'm going to get. I mean, there's still some little bit of discoloration but the bluing should cover that up that is on the side where the stock will come up on uh, I am going to be hitting this again with some steel wool I mean it, I am not going for a perfect restoration but to bring it back to where it's presentable is what uh, my buddy wanted. And then I do have my, the rear sight. I do have a new front sight. We'll be showing you how to go about mounting that uh, once we get done bluing the barrel and, and it's cured and finished. But in the... Uh, Hang, I have finished. Uh, there's no way, unless I 
remove a ton of metal from it to uh, get it perfect. Like I said, I'm not doing a full 100% showroom quality restoration. We're just making this to where it is usable. And then whenever we this mounted back in the gun, that will be mounted like so. But we are getting there. So the next thing you're going to be seeing, probably in the next video, is the uh, cleaning ballooning of the barrel and the tank. So, thank you for hanging out, watching. Uh, we're just about done with this series. I probably figure another couple of videos. Uh, we'll just have to see how it works out. But I do appreciate you all coming by and checking it out. If you uh, like what you see, like the content, Click the subscription button. Click the bell notification beside it. That'll let, and click all. That'll let you know whenever I post a new video. Give me a thumbs up and not the finger. Leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. I always try to reply to all my comments. And uh, I guess we will see you on the next one. Bye.